Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. So if you need a website or a domain, then head over to squarespace.com forward slash Will's Whereabouts to save 10% on your first purchase. This is it. Day one, minute one of the van conversion. Let the van build begin. Well, part one of this process is going really well. If you're new to the channel and you haven't seen any of my previous videos, then basically I had a Ford Galaxy which I converted into some kind of stealthy little micro camper and I've been having lots of fun and adventures in that. However, recently, the other day, I bought myself a 2015 medium wheelbase Fiat Ducato and like everybody else on YouTube, I am gonna be starting to do a van conversion. Today's job mainly is gonna to be to obviously remove that bulkhead, remove all the ply lining, remove the floor, give everything a good wipe because it's all covered in grit and dust. Enough chit chat, day one of the van conversion starts now. So to remove this bulkhead, it's gonna be a couple of different tools required. I think the first one is just gonna be an impact driver just to get all of these nuts out here. And then I don't even know what you call these. I think these are called rivets these things here and I might have to drill them out but first things first get the bolts out and then we'll see how we go All of the bolts are out and these anchor hooks, I think they're called. And now I think I just need to try and drill out the rivets. I've not got a clue if this is gonna work or if this is the right bit, but we can only give it a try. Oh dear. Oh shit. Well that worked. Anybody know how to get these rivets off the drill bit? Oh, that is sharp metal. It's not good that I'm struggling on part one of trying to get the bulkhead out. I cannot seem to get this little, I don't even know what you call it, nut washer thing. It's circular shaped, so I can't get any grip to get it off. Fuck you yeah, now, what the fuck? Right, I'm gonna do a call to action. I'm part of a Facebook group which has over 200,000 people following it. Everybody's converting vans and doing all their self builds and everything. So somebody will know how I can remove this. Hi guys, trying to remove the bulkhead, but I forgot I was a spastic. We're gonna try this again. I've just seen some bloke on YouTube drill it out. Oh God. Fuck you know. Something's happening. <laughs> My God. I've literally just snapped the drill bit in half. <laughs> ah, and that is boiling hot. Well, part one of this process is going really well. I've just broken your drill bit. <laughs> How? Trying to get these rivets out. How do you break it? Which would be a drill bit? If you're wondering whose tools I'm using, thankfully my dad's got all the tools and the gear that I need. However, he's got all the gear and no idea, and now I'm also the same. Oh, we are free! Oh, the bulkhead is out. I'm exhausted <laughs> and this is literally just the start of it but wow makes it feel so much more spacious already you can see how filthy dirty it is 
And behind here, cigarette butts. What do you call these? Washers, screws, 5p. Happy days, that's my lunch money. All this crap, pens, pencils under here. But now, I can walk through. So much more light is coming through here now. So the next job is to remove the flooring and fingers crossed, that should be a little bit easier because they're just screwed straight into the van flooring. So I'll do a time lapse and we'll skip forward and get this flooring out. <laughs> see I'm not the most delicate of people when it comes to uh, removing things but I don't actually want to just snap this in half because it's already got the cutout template of the wheel arch so if I can take this piece in one whole piece then really I should Woo! this is the bit that I wanted to keep because I should be able to use this template when I come to put my own ply lining on the wheel arch. So I'm not going to be throwing this away just yet. definition of a bull in a china shop. There we go. Everything off, bulkhead out. Plow oh, no. I gotta take that off. I completely forgot. Two seconds, cue the montage. Everything removed. Happy, happy days. You can really see how much more spacious it is in here. And these panels are in good condition. It's obviously been ply lined pretty much its whole life, I reckon. But as you can see, so much dirt and grime. I'm not sure if this here is rust. I think it probably is. This looks a bit more severe, so I'm probably going to have to treat that, scrape that down, remove these bolts. But it just needs a good, good clean, which is going to be the next step. Before we crack on with the rest of the video, I have to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace are an all-in-one website building platform that really do make creating a website easy and simple to do. So if you, like me, are looking to create a website, but you're not particularly tech savvy and website coding absolutely blows your mind, then head over to squarespace.com and choose from one of their many hundred website templates they've created, and you can be on your way to building a smart, professional-looking website in no time. Squarespace are offering you a 10% discount, so head over to the link in in the description or go to squarespace.com to get yourself a free trial and when you're ready use the coupon code wills whereabouts to save yourself 10% on your first purchase a lot of this dust has completely set into the metal so I'm gonna to have to really give this a good wipe down and scrub. Oh no. Oh shit. That is not good. The screw has just rusted and completely snapped which means it's still stuck in there. 
Uh oh, that's not good. If I probably screw this a little bit slower, there's less risk of it snapping. I probably need to learn that. Go slowly and things don't break. Oh, bloody hell. The same thing just happened. To be honest, I didn't realize how bad this was because obviously the cover hides all of it, but it's cracked there. It's completely out of shape and bent. So I might just remove this whole piece. I'm not gonna do that now, but at least I'm able to see what the condition of the back is like. Oh man, oh man, oh man. The rear bumper support on eBay is 200 pounds. I wish I'd never taken the cover off and never seen what it looked like. What on earth is this? Oh my God. That is absolutely filthy. If anybody knows what this actually is or what it's meant to do for my van, please let me know because I have absolutely no idea what this is. This is ridiculous. This runner where the door goes into is literally like a treasure chest of screws, rocks, coins, and all sorts. I still need to hoover all of that up, but there is a screw stuck just there and it's completely wedged in here and I'm struggling to get it out. Ah, I've got it. Oh no. Oh shit, man. This bastard right here, but I got him. Well, this is the end of day one. Given everything a good scrub, it looks so much cleaner and tidier. However, it's definitely not done. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and give everything a proper wipe down with some disinfectant, some degreaser, all that kind of fun stuff. It's probably taken me around four to five hours to do what I've done today. Remove the bulkhead, remove the ply lining and give everything a first clean up. I'll see you tomorrow and hopefully we should have everything looking good as new. I've literally just found a set of keys in the back door. Where is that? Super glue. <laughs> this is ridiculous. another day of cleaning this van out. I thought I should share this little tip with you and something that I've just realized. As you can see, I've decided to jet hose and jet spray the entire van just to get rid of much dust and crap and dirt as I can. I've just turned the van around to have it on a slight bit of a hill so that all the water can drain out. However, when I was just turning it around, I could hear the noise of water moving throughout the van because some of the water hasn't actually drained out. So all of these things here are actually drain hole accesses, if that makes sense. Just, you'll have to feel with your hand and then I can feel this plug. You can actually just push it straight through to the floor. Make sure you come back round and you pick up these plugs because once I've jet hosed again, I'm gonna need to put these back in. Where I've got my hand in here now, 
there is a lot. There's about an inch of water just sitting here. But as soon as I take this plug out, it's all going to be able to drain out. Oh, there we go. Woo. Now I'm going to give everything another jet hose. I've just gone and picked up some all purpose cleaner and degreaser because there's still a few stains and a few marks which the jet wash won't get out and I figure this will probably get rid of some of the smell that's in here it's a bit cigarette -y, um, but that's probably most likely on the uh, the furniture the two chairs at the front but giving everything a once over with this isn't going to do any harm I hope you're ready for your anal inspection uh, Today's job definitely isn't a clean one. Three days, three days it has taken me to clean the van up. There's me expecting I'd get it all done in a day and then I can crack on with the fun jobs. But oh no, this van had other ideas. In the end, I actually stopped filming the cleaning process because I thought people are gonna be unsubscribing because they might think this channel has now turned into some clean hygiene channel, which it hasn't. It's just, I had to get this job done and I had to get the van looking almost brand spanking new. As you could see from some of the clips, I actually ended up pulling both the chairs out and now you can actually see the white flooring in the cab area because before you couldn't, it was completely covered in dirt and grime, screws, keys, absolutely everything was underneath this. It was that dirty and disgusting. We pulled out two worms from underneath this cab area. Two bloody worms, that is disgusting. There's still a very musty smell in here, which I think is from the chairs because they were absolutely filthy. Ended up giving them a nice carpet clean, but they haven't really changed too much. They're still pretty dirty and they haven't quite dried. So there is a bit of a, a wafty stagnant smell. So if anybody knows how to get rid of that smell, then please do let me know. I'm gonna end the first episode of this camper van conversion here. I know it wasn't the most entertaining, but the cleaning is done. Let me know if you enjoyed the video and if you're excited for the future videos of this fan conversion. As always, make sure to give me a follow on Instagram at Will's Whereabouts as I'll do more updates and more pictures of the van conversion and other travel pictures in general. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.